Good evening everyone, I'm Bill Harris and we thank you for tuning in this Friday night. City officials are inspecting the chemical treatment system used at Anderson Park. NBC 25's Josh Marshall has a big story tonight. He is at the Splash Park where tests indicate the water is enough to code. The city's taking a look at the chemical treatment system designed to keep the water clean. In the meantime, students are getting ready for school and trying to take that last trip to the Splash Park. You know, we want to make sure everybody's kids are, are healthy and, and happy and that we're following all the requirements of the state. The kids of neighborhood House of Saginaw are staying dry. We expect her to come out and let the kids play and get in the water. The city closed down their water park for problems with their disinfection system. The last couple of weeks we've been noticing our chlorine levels kind of low and we've been doing some tests for HPC count, which is a heterotrophic plate count. The test is designed to let you know if there's bacteria in the water. Since finding abnormal amounts on Wednesday, the park has been closed. We're doing a complete draining of the system. Uh, we're going to super shock it, clean out all the pipes, get our chemical feed system working uh, back up properly again. No injuries have been reported as a result of the disinfection infection malfunction, but the city says they're not taking any chances after sewage water ran through the pipes at Traverse City's splash pad. I think for safety precautions, I think it's good that they closed it. The city is taking corrective measures now and the hope is to have the park open by the Labor Day holiday.